Hey guys, Tyrell here, and I'm coming at you with a new farming series. I'm going to be uploading every now and again, not every single day, of course, but every now and then, I'm going to be uploading some raids in Champions League with balloons. What I'm doing is I'm going for 2 billion elixir escapade. I'm going to be going in all champions farming for this. And right here you can see I'm attacking it. Wait, I recognize this name. Tuan Tiu? I recognize this name. I think they used to be on the top 200. But basically, I'm going in against this guy, and I'm just trying to steal those easy-to-get elixir storages right there. And I'm just going for that 2 billion elixir escapade. I have nothing to really spend on, except the new upgrade for giants, which I can afford really soon. But I'm just going to be waiting on that until I cap out my elixir storages. Probably tomorrow. But I'm going for that 2 billion. I'm at maybe 1.6, not quite, like 1.55. No other reason besides just to cap it off. Like, I had cap gold grab for a while, and I have had it for a while, and I had it before pretty much it was even a thing, before you even had profiles. I pretty much had 2 billion, but I didn't get the elixir one because I don't raid for elixir. I never did because elixir has so much less use than gold, especially back when I was doing most of my farming back then. There was even less you could spend elixir on. It was just all gold. And it still is almost all gold. So you don't even need to hit the elixir escapade cap to fully max out your base. You don't even need to hit half of it. You don't even need a billion to max out your base. You just need like 600 million or something. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and just farm my way through Champions League. I'm still up at 3,900 or so. A little less maybe, but right around 3,900. And I'm going to be farming between there, maybe 3,600, just try and get as much elixir as I can. And you're going to see why this is the best place to farm elixir. But I gotta warn you, this does cost the gems for the boosting of the heroes and the boosting of the spell factory. Other than that, it doesn't cost anything but that. And you only raid every 40 minutes, but you make pretty much as much as you do down barching. You just can't log out, that's the trade-off. You make the same amount, have to raid less, but you have to stay online. So right here, that was kind of a crappy free spell and balloon deployment because I didn't take out the upward facing expo right there. And I should have frozen the inferno tower, not the expo. That's more important. And now my dragon's already gone. All those elixir storages are still up. I've only stolen 60,000. But still, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and get as much as I can. That was a kind of crappy lightning spell only because I missed a bunch of archers because I thought the vast majority were out of his clan castle, but there still were like 10 left and I didn't go and get them. I thought it was empty. My bad. But now there's still three elixir storages standing. There's one up top that you can't quite see. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send my minions in and a fail free spell. That was a terrible free spell. I just completely missed. I could easily have gotten the air defense right along with that, but I didn't. It's not like it really makes a difference, but I should have. I should have been able to get that, but I did. And now I just have the stuff up top. Now, when I was raiding this guy, I did not realize that my minion was still alive down there. I thought he died off. I thought he was in range of the Inferno Tower, and I would scroll all the way up to the top so I couldn't see it. I could have gotten more elixir. I actually, if you can't tell by how much time is left, that minion's not going to be able to kill that storage before I finish the raid. And at this point, I end the raid with 489,000 elixir stolen, almost 500,000 elixir stolen. I could have hit 500,000 if I remembered that minion. And now, for the third and final raid, this guy has 578,000 available elixir. and. This is why I like farming up in Champions League. This is not uncommon. I don't have to search for an hour to find this. I have to search for 15 to 20 minutes to find this. And since I'm seeing clouds most of the time, it's really only like 15 nexts or 10 nexts. And I find someone with 500,000 of either resource, give me maybe 40 nexts or 50 nexts, which would take like 40 minutes. And I can actually find someone who is worth maybe a million total resources. Now, I'm not necessarily going to get all of them because they're going to be heavily defended, but that's a lot of resources, and if it's towards the outside like this one, you can get all of it. Like, look at that. I actually didn't want my dragon to go down there. Instead, I wanted to just deploy my heroes at the bottom and take it with just my heroes so my dragon could go up and take out that. But 
Also, we have that crazy trick expo right there. It, it's telling me it's down, but it's really up. So I had to send in some minions right there, but I'm actually gonna have to deploy some minions on the backside there just to take out those. I'm not really trying to win. I really, I could have beaten this base. I could have gotten a one star, but I was really focused on getting the elixir storage at all costs. No caring about the trophies or anything. I'm done with that for now. So I don't care about the trophies right now. So it's all about the elixir. It's all about making sure I get every single storage and every single collector. Use my king's ability before he's even hurt just so he spawned those barbarians so they can take out that last elixir collector. I got everything 577,000 elixir in one raid. Do that every 40 minutes. That's a lot of elixir. Combine that with the bonus you get, the 180,000. It doesn't factor into my elixir escapade, so that doesn't count towards my goal. But think if you're upgrading your stuff and you get that extra 180,000, you're making like 600 to 700,000 per raid. And you're only having to raid every 40 minutes, but you're still making good loot. This is why I like to farm up in Champions League. It does cost gems, but right now, the boosts are one gem for your heroes and your spell factory. I think the barracks are too, but I don't boost barracks. But the heroes and spell factory is what you need. You boost those for one gem. It was only three gems to boost them all, so I was able to do this on that, what is that, 1.5, 1.3 million elixir, count the bonuses, I 1.5 million or whatever, I don't know, total in three raids for three gems. That's all it cost me and just a little bit of my time. So I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be trying to get to 2 billion as fast as I can, so thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, Tyrael, out.